Hi, this is Lou, aka Chocolatic, doing some uh, gameplay footage of my most recently obtained game, Nintendo Dogs Plus Cats, Golden Retriever, and New Friends for the 3DS. It's not as cutesy wootsy. Okay, it is as cutesy wootsy as you think it is, but it's also a very interesting and addictive simulator that is quite fun to play regardless of your gender so I just thought I would show you some of the stuff that you can do in this this here is my dog and his name is Rebel hey you who's a good boy Now, this is probably the most fun that I have in this game, and I don't know why, but the fact that you can lift up their ears is just so adorable to me. I can't get enough of it. You can lift up his ear. You gotta be quick about it or he'll shake you off, but yep. It's just so funny. I love doing that. Did you say something? <laughs> and you can do it with the tail too. Um, you can like grab the tail. <laughs> but anyway, enough about that. Since I've already maxed out my um, happiness points to 601 for the day and owner points for 600. I've taught him all the tricks that I can teach him for today and I've done all six of the uh, competitions today. So I'm just gonna do pretty much the only thing I can do right now which is go for a walk. Let's go for a walk Rebel. Alright it looks like we're in downtown it starts you off at a random location, but you can sort of get to other locations by going towards the signs. And this is going to be tricky alternating between the top and bottom screens. Hello there, Lou. There's a boutique around here where you can buy hard to find items. If you see its sign, you should definitely stop and look. Aw, uh, Rebel and Gus didn't seem to hit it off. Anyway, back to the walk. <laughs> Just like in real life, the dog has to whimper and friggin' stall for ten hours before he finally decides where he wants to pee. It's frustrating, just like it is in real life. Just hurry up, jeez. If you weren't so cute, I'd want to strangle you. Come on already. There we go. I don't make a big deal about him peeing in front of the mailbox or whatever like in my opinion when a dog has to go they have to go like you shouldn't punish them for going in a specific area because a dog's like I mean you can sort of train it to go only where you want it to go but like as long as he's like I don't know, I just don't make that big of a deal about where they go as long as it's not inside. Um, but of course in this game the dogs are much more trainable than they are in real life and you could like literally specify to him or her if you have a female dog that like you want them to pee only in the grass or whatever. Ew, it's an old McDonald's lunch. Get away from it, Rebel. You want to go to the cafe? Sure, why not? 
And uh, a neat little note that you can take note of is uh, when you enter a building or what have you, or if you go to the park with somebody else's dog or whatever, you can um, basically reset all the uh, stuff on the road, like cones and presents and stuff. So if you can see ahead of you and you don't really see any interesting stuff up ahead and there's a building right there that you can go in, you should probably go in it so that it will reset the stuff in front of you. And also you can sort of backtrack if you're lucky enough to like bump into somebody who wants to go to a cafe that's like where you just came from. Like literally I've walked past a cafe and then there would be like a couple with or a, like a me with their dog and I would talk to them and they would want to go to the same cafe that I just came out of. Which seems pointless but it can reset the items so it's actually sort of useful if you're looking for like a specific item. Rebel made friends with Buddy. She doesn't want to go to the cafe this time, but like sometimes they will. And um, sometimes they go to the park and whatever. Now, another thing, you can see that green sign, well, he's walking past the gym, but like, it also resets any shops on the road. So, for example, if I went into that gym just now, there's a good chance that when I went out of the gym, this bark shop would not be there when I got out. It would like magically disappear or relocate somewhere else out of nowhere, which is kind of a like bummer. Anything good? Yeah, there's a fedora. Eh. How about the pompadour? Uh-huh. Nah, I'll just stick with what I have for now. I'll have an Elvis puppy later. Ooh, if that signs what I think it is up ahead. I think it is. I think it's the secret path. Secret paths are very rare. Always go to them when you find a sign going to it. Because you could get some really awesome stuff from the secret paths. Like, seriously, there's no reason not to go. Oh, he's pooping. But yeah, secret path, secret path, secret path. Very rare. Awesome stuff. Take the secret path? Hell yeah, I want to take the secret path. Look at all those cones and presents up ahead. Let's go, Rebel. What do we have here? It's a rubber tire trunk, which is like a basic item that you find in the downtown. Each area, like each, each place that you can walk your dog in, has a specific item that, hang on, let me get through these cones. Oh, come on. I hate when he does that. He just stops right in the middle and ruins everything. And you can't do anything about it. Like he just, nope, I feel like stopping. Herder, I'm not going through the cones. I feel like stopping and being a jerk. Eh, oh well. But um, yeah. The different levels have one item that's like more common in that level. Um, the town. Sorry, Rebel. Ah, I'm not. I'm just not good at doing these cones while holding a camera. Or I'm technically not holding the camera, but I'm like right behind it. Yeah, this is getting us nowhere, Rebel. I'd be much better off if I uh, didn't have to worry about this camera right in front of me. But oh well. Um, yeah, the town usually has, I think, leather. The uh, downtown usually has rubber. The seaside usually has plastic. And the mountains usually have wood. Not that it's impossible to find something in another place where it wouldn't normally be, but it's rarer there like than it would be in the specific area that it's more common in. 
And then there's like stuff that's just rare in general, like metal and stardust, which you can find anywhere, but they're rare. So you just gotta keep on looking for them if you need one. We, we came across a whole bunch of metal earlier today when we were uh, on another secret path. Like there was metal everywhere. It's like, did some robots have an epic battle here or what? Like why is there metal everywhere? Oh, Rebel, what is with you? I was gonna make it that time, but you had to stop. You had to stop and pee in the middle of the freaking traffic cones. This didn't go well. Oh well. It's not like it's... I mean, it's kind of disappointing, but what do you expect when there's a camera like two inches in front of my face? And I have to like, sort of look through the camera to see the 3DS. Maybe I can backtrack if this guy wants to go to a um, cafe or something. Nah, he doesn't want to go anywhere. And the house is just up ahead. We get this one last present and that's pretty much it. Oh well. I just wanted to show like a gameplay video. I was... I was sort of hoping to get some rare stuff since we took the secret path and everything, but it's tough to do those cones, especially when uh, you're looking through a camera. Leather shoe. I already have one of those. I'll just sell the extra one. Run, Rebel, run! You returned home. Looks like Rebel had a really great time on his walk. I would have had a great time too if we got some rare stuff from that secret path. Oh wow, that's not very common. Someone's calling me while I'm in the middle of making a video, so I guess I'll see you guys later.